Have you ever been to a place where all your dreams can come true? Have you ever considered the possibility of having fun from dusk to dawn, become a child one more time, and simply not worrying about any of your problems? Today we will meet someone who, despite being a very busy person, both in school and at work, was able to make a dream come true by visiting one of the greatest and most entertaining places on earth, Disney World, a magical spot visited by millions of people every month. The Amenities Communication Arts Department at Norwalk Community College presents the new directors, the show that introduces you to television's future writers, directors, and personalities. And now, join our host, Cesar Perot, to meet the new directors. Thank you for joining us today for today's edition of the New Directors. All of the people involved with this program are students in the television production course and are directing, switching, controlling audio, operating cameras and acting as talent for the first time today. The guests you are about to meet is, are students who are not on camera and are behind the scenes, working hard to bring this program to you as a, with a few mistakes as possible. Each student we we'll write and direct three different productions. This program will give them a chance to talk about themselves, the productions they have planning and give you the chance to get to know them and watch their progress throughout the semester. Our guest today is Milton, as a person who, despite being very busy with school and work, and was able to find time to make a dream to become reality. We would like to meet today's guest Milton Mendoza. How you, you doing, know Milton? Oh, cool. How does it feel to be in the, in the show? Good, great. Right. Glad That's to nice. be here. Now, um, you're currently a full-time a full -time student at NCC, and you also work full-time. Being the busy person you are, how did you find free time to make this trip to Disney possible? And could you tell us a little bit about the trip? Absolutely. Well, like you said, I'm a full-time student here at NCC and I have two jobs. I work full-time altogether. But this trip had been planned for a long time. You know, it was actually a family trip that I took with my mother and my little brother. And like I said, we had been planning to do this for so long that we just could never make it fit into our schedules. And finally, the time was right. We went last year. We spent two weeks there. And it was just amazing, you know. Um, you can just become a child again there. I love the place. I had never been to Disney before. I felt like I was a, a little five-year-old, you know, running around meeting Mickey for the first time. <laughs> it, was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was also good because we got to uh, visit some family that we have down there and we hadn't seen them in years. So it kind of like all worked together. It was a, definitely a lot of fun, definitely a great time. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping to be able to go back there again this year. Um, bring my girlfriend, she's never been there. We're talking about it maybe during the summer. We'll see. Cool, cool. That's awesome. Um, could you tell us why you decided to take the TV production course? Well, first of all, because it was a course requirement. In order for me to graduate, I need to take this course. And I'm, since I'm graduating now this coming May, uh, it was time. I always wanted to um, take the TV One course, but I could never fit it into my schedule. Because I've always had a huge interest in TV and film productions, I wanted to know what it was like to be on the other side of things, not just as a spectator, you know, and learn how, to, how these productions function as a whole, learn how to make it happen. So. Oh, that's cool. It's pretty cool. Um, now, what are, most of the, what are the most useful things you have learned on TV One? Well, we learned um, basic composition techniques, how to properly frame something on the camera, um, how to get the focus correct, how to use Avid, which is a great software. I never thought I'd be able to edit anything until I actually got my hands onto Avid. And it's such an easy to use software. It's so great. You can just make anything happen on it. Another thing that I never thought that film productions and 
would do is storyboard. You know, I never really understood why they actually needed to draw shot by shot um, in order to get the, the film going. And w after I tried to do it without storyboarding, I realized, oh man, I really need that. So those are a few of the, the things that I learned. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's a lot of work, man, doing mm -hmm. storyboard. Uh, but now tell us about the productions you created for the TV One class, uh, the sequence, Guns and Hoses commercial, academic festival, and the campus tour. Well, the coffee and the car sequence, uh, it were nice for me to use to learn, to learn how to use basic editing stuff, you know, cut and trim stuff that I didn't need in the video from like raw footage, um, cut to action, that's something I had no idea how to do before. The Guns and Hoses project, I learned how to use effects for the first time. I was able to change the color of the sirens from red to blue, back and forth. I was able to reverse the image, show the car going one way and then the other. Um, the academic festival, we covered the blues performance at the cafeteria on the West Campus, and it was so great because we were able to um, get an interview with the band, and you know, it was like we were doing an actual newscast, like a TV reporter type of thing on the air. Unfortunately, I had a little issue with the tape and I couldn't get the, the footage to be shown here. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh, well, well, that's cool. Um, now, uh, now, I know you have one product that you felt was your best. Uh, tell us about it while we watch part of the video. Well, you know, I wouldn't say it was necessarily the best, but it's definitely the most entertaining and the, the most fun of them, which was the campus story. I had no idea what I was going to do for my campus story uh, until I talked to my friends, Adam, Lauren, Jack, the other Adam. They were like, what should I do? What should I do? And I brought up the idea of doing zombies taking over NCC. And with their help, we were able to film everything in the back of the parking lot. So we had Adam as a zombie attacking Jack and attacking the other, the other Adam. And the other Adam turned out to be like a superhero or something, you know. He actually beats the zombies up and, and saves the day. It was a lot of fun, actually. We, we laughed all throughout the thing. It was, it was so entertaining, and I, I'm really proud of the, the end result. You know, but I couldn't have done it without my, my friend's help, which I appreciated very much so. Oh, that's cool, man. Uh, zombies and taking over NCC, that's a really nice yeah. idea. <laughs> yeah. uh, now, after, after learning how to shoot and edit these projects, what would you like to create next? Well, I love to travel. I'm traveling all the time, so I definitely want to be able to um, edit all of my travel footage. I'm always filming while I'm, I'm on the road. I also have a band and we're touring around the country all the time, so I'd like to maybe come up with like a documentary of one of our tours or something. Um, a lot of family stuff that we have, I'd like to edit and get it all together nice and neat. And obviously, I've, you know, since I had so much fun doing my campus story, I'd like to try to work on something like that again, just for, just for fun, just as a hobby. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, now, today we got to meet someone who shared with us the wonders of Disney World in Orlando, Florida. As a new TV director, he hopes to apply what he learned at NCC to document other travel experiences when touring with the band. Also plans to start working on video editing from home as a hobby. We would like to thank Milton Mendoza for joining us. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having All me. Right. We hope you enjoy meeting some of the television's future directors, and we hope you will continue to join us each week to watch our progress. Thank you, and have a good day. With your host, Cesar Parra. Directed by Adam Payne. I'm your announcer, Troy Ison. The new director is the Norwalk Community College Student Production.